everyone, it's Michelle here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've just jumped on um, to, I'm in my dinner hour. I've got to be back to 10 past, no, 20 past one. Um, so I thought I'd jump on quick. I'm just going to have a slurp of this. Um, I, it's the James C. Brett. I was gifted this wool from um, Sandra. She she's a lovely lovely lady and she gifted me this she sent me some in Aki mail um she's really lovely <coughs> and i absolutely love it um it's fair chain c brett it's fairground double knit and what's 100 grams in that and i just thought i'd show you how it knits up because when you look at that right I didn't think it was going to nip, knit up how it has, and I'm oh, I'm blown away by it. I absolutely love it. Oh, it's amazing. Ready? Here goes. Ta da! Oh, look at that. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm knitting it. My niece and her wife, they've got a little girl, Hattie's too. Um, and it's like, um, I've shown it before, it's like a lilac summer coat in the in the pattern in the king cole pattern book that i'm knitting this oh they're gonna love it she's gonna look amazing in it i can't wait um and because it's only knit pearl that's all i'm doing but it's got all these patterns in it oh i just think it's amazing i never dreamt that it would make that pattern ever i never thought it would make that pattern it didn't look as if it would um i can't believe it it's just absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, and as I say, it was gifted to me. It says in the pattern, it I'm trying to find the pattern, I'm not being ignorant, I'm not looking at you. It says in the pattern, it takes 200 grams. So, <clears throat> I'm just opening it doors. It's that. That's what it is there. Um, and as you can see, they're the different things to it um is there any more no that's it there's the back to it can you see um so yeah that's what i'm making a bit in that like, i never dreamt that that wool that is that i love it i absolutely love it and it was sheila who said from sheila's knitting tips and other stuff and um, she was saying that it's boring when you knit knit pearl sometimes it, it, it's a bit tedious it seems to go slower i know what she means if you're following a pattern then you you're working on the pattern and then you seem to if there's four rows to it or six rows to it you, you're like row one two three four oh and then you're back to your, your first pattern row a pattern again and it does seem to go quicker but with this there's your pattern there already no swapping color no wrapping wool over and starting you know what i mean transferring you all across the your stitches up the side to make the different patterns different colors it's all there ready for you um yeah i'm absolutely impressed with it i really am impressed i love it and i, and I know my niece will no wife i know they'll love it for it for their little girl um it is 18 to 24 and she's two so i might just it says to knit to 23 i don't know i'll have a look what other two-year-old patterns say let's just add a little bit on um she's quite she's not a petite two-year-old so i might just add i might even add a centimeter on i might do it 24 centimeters up up to it um i don't know we shall see when i've worked out the wall um but yeah absolutely amazing and it knits beautifully i don't know if you can see the pat the, the stitches look different i don't know if it's the wool or what i don't know but they just look so neat um so you know i don't know whether it's you know a more expensive wool or not i don't know i've never i thought i'd used james c brett once before uh, but no i didn't get results like this from it it's like white with like a like a sparkle running through it and the sparkle kept pulling out so i weren't too pleased about that one <clears throat> but this one is absolutely amazing um today we've had no snow up to yet we had a really bad frost it was snowing on and off yesterday but it didn't accumulate it didn't settle or anything it did in the morning but then it went um i think today 
is supposed to be. I'm supposed to have some showers, rain and sleet. Um, and then I think it's saying tomorrow and Monday. And then I've just read my phone next week. It says it's it's um, snowing again next Thursday. Um, you know, it's just mother's na Mother Nature's way of just saying, hey, hang on a minute, you lot. You lot think you... Because I gave you like 18, 19 degrees last week. Don't think... Uh, you're having it this week because you're not. <laughs> um, you know, you're not having it in 60s again. So we're back down to cold and back down to frost. And in, you know, when you go up in the morning, you've got to scrape your car. Um, but yeah, and it's quite chilly outside as well. <clears throat> now I wonder why we've all got colds. Um, yeah, there's quite a few ladies at our place who think it's four had COVID. Two's back and two are still off. Um, two in my room. Um, so yeah, it's a good job I didn't go and see my mum. My mum's immune suppressed. She's got no immune system, my mum. So it's a good job that I didn't go and see her on Saturday. Um, and we've got chicken pox as well in our room. Um, and my mum can't be around the chicken pox virus either. So it's a good job I didn't go in and see her and just drop her things on the drive. So that's that that's my week up to yeah it's they've moved in across there so it's pretty quiet um on the street i had to bother with them there were loads of cars again last night but they've actually moved in i seen them go to school yesterday and today but there's still like loads of cars every night so i don't know what's what's going on with that i don't know um but it looks as if they've got, i think they've got three or four kids um so i don't know as long as I keep away from my drive gates and my house and my property, that's all what matters, hey. Um, right, lovely to speak to you all. I've got to go back to work now. Oh, I've got ten minutes. I'm finish my coffee, finish this row, let the dog back out again for a second time, and then I'm back there till fit finish at six. I'll get home about quarter past twenty past sixty. Well, as long as no kids are late. But that's that. Oh, I've got a few kids with COVID as well. So, um, I don't know. It's everywhere again, isn't it? Right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.